Hello and welcome to a new video where I'll show you the latest plugin I just made Quick Google Translator plugin for WordPress So to get started with it, click Plugins, Add New Upload Plugin, choose File, Navigate to zip file you downloaded, click Install Now After the quick installation, activate the plugin And feel free to go to Plugin Settings Here you should register your Envato purchase code and you can set the translate button click timeout. I will get back to this after a while. So to get started with a plugin, create a post or a page or anything you like or a custom post type. It will work anywhere. Add a title to it. And you here you have two options. If you have the latest Gutenberg editor with WordPress 5.0 or newer, then you can use the Gutenberg block that the plugin adds. Click on plus, embeds, and you will find the quick Google translator block. Here you can select the plugin block settings. Okay, so you can select the source language. If you select all, the visitors will have the ability to <coughs> select their source language. If you select a specific language, the visitors will be able to translate content only from that single language. Let's leave this at all. The same thing for a target language. Note that there are many, many languages and all languages uh, supported by Google Translate are here. Okay. Maximum content length. The maximum length of the text that it is allowed to be translated at uh, one translation attempt. So if the user attempts to translate the whole Bible, for example, you cannot allow this if you enter here 500 characters max. Okay, and the translation button location, top or bottom. Let's leave this at top and hit publish. Let's go to the post, and here it is, the quick translation, so let's leave this at auto detect, hi, I am Sam, your new friend. Let's translate this to German, for example. Okay, to Catalan or to Zulu. Okay, now let's play with these settings. Let's try and restrict uh, translation only from English, English and only to German language. And let's put the translate button to the bottom to see how it looks. Okay, so only English input text will be accepted. And only German output will be provided. Okay, and as you can see, there is no language selection now. Okay. So, uh, there is another uh, possibility to display this uh, form in older editors or in uh, the classic editor. You can use this shortcode. So let's delete this. It's gone and put in the shortcode I just copied and refresh the page and the translation form is back. Here the parameters are the same, but languages should be specified with two letter notation. Here you will have the full list of available languages. Okay. And another feature, the translate button click timeout. Here you can put the timeout to 5000. This is in milliseconds, so 5,000 is 5 seconds. This is the length of the translate button being disabled after the user clicked it. 
So, if I translate here, the translate button will be disabled for 5 seconds, as you can see. Do not abuse clicking the translate button. Okay. Also, the plugin has activity and logging section. Here are some system info of, about your server, restore plugin default settings, and the quick activity log about only plugin errors, so it is good that the log is empty. Okay. So, as you can see, this plugin is very simple and also very effective because, as you can see, uh, Google Translate does not require an API uh, uh, ID, so it is not rate limited and it can do any language the original Google Translate also can do. So, yeah. Okay, I hope you will enjoy this plugin and as always don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Until next time, bye bye.